David Matai, ladies and gentlemen. Check. So can we? Okay, I can hear myself. So I hope. All right. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Matai. I repeat my name again. I know post lunch is not a good time to do a presentation, so I know I need to make it so short and sweet, and I'll try to do my best. However, since we are talking about retail shrinkage, which I consider as a retailer's nightmare all over the world, this could be interesting to you. There's so much of technology available today, but however, how we can integrate technology to prevent retail shrinkage that has become a real problem worldwide. There are numbers available, but I'm not going into any of those things. Now, what we are trying to do today, uh, or what we are doing, to bring the retail shrinkage prevention solution, make them more intelligent than being just a standalone ones. Now, we as a company, we have been in the Middle East for almost 25 years, and we are in India for now eight, nine, years already and uh, apparently you have all kinds of systems available in this modern world however the choices are like hardware all these years or maybe still recently but that is now giving way to connected systems we call it one of the problems that we had with the traditional solutions first of all they are fragmented I know that stores in India if they have hundred stores they'll be at least maybe 15 different types of uh, uh, systems working. And they had a very limited protection capability. And the worst is the non-compatibility. They are not compatible to each other at all. And there are technology limitations. And the probably today's world, as far as I can think of, it all runs on data. And the more data that we can manage out of the system, that is more important for us than anything else. So here we go. In a normal, uh, retail scenario when we have shrinkages on the top and you go in and install a system as a deterrent as uh, people call all of a sudden you will see a drop of the uh, shrinkage however it's only a matter of time the professionals and the people who are in the real shoplifting they will realize the system is not efficient enough and you will see the shrinkage will still climb on the other hand, an efficient system will make sure that shrinkage will still keep as low as possible. Having said that, whatever anybody say, I know I've been in this business for almost 30 years. There is no system in the world which can give you 100% shrinkage prevention at all. However, we can limit it. We can save money from something that which is losing. Okay, you can lose, or you can save some money. Now, there we go. What we did is, instead of managing that individual uh, fragmented systems in different places, we thought, change the electronic article surveillance concept to an intelligent article surveillance. So that means the article surveillance and the security factor, that component, in our system, may be around 20% or maybe 30%. And the rest of the functionalities, we use the systems to mine data on the store activity. So what do we do? We call it EAS to IAS. So basically, the systems are becoming intelligent. What we did is, we connect the systems. Between the systems, there is a connection. And store to store, we have connections. And today, in India, we can say there are retailers who would have got maybe 200 plus stores based out of Bangalore, and all their stores are connected, and they receive real-time data on various informations like they, oh, I can show you the next one. Yes, here we go. They will know exactly if their system is working, and how many people really visit their stores. Do the staff follow set procedures? Is the alarm level unusual? Is your source tagging working correctly? And more than that, you have 24-hour visitor counting that is through integrated systems. 
And the staff really knows that you are under you know, the big eye of the bosses. And then you have 24-hour system monitoring. Now what we have is we have a help desk. Uh, normally, in a service situation that if a system is down, somebody has to call you and say, hey, the system is down. Probably you come to know about that after three days or one week. You don't know really it was down for so many days. However, in our case, if a system is down, in our data, in our, in our dashboard, in our service center, we get an alert in Guwahati, in this store, this particular system is down for the last 15 minutes or something. So immediately, one of our assistants help desk will call up that client and ask, there's a problem like this, can we fix it online? Or only if it is absolutely necessary, we dispatch an engineer. So I just want to tell you, I, don't, I, was, I was told not to take his name, but he's being a good friend of the retail industry worldwide. Once I was talking to him, when they were opening the first uh, Delhi store, he told me that from the time that they have decided to migrate to connected systems worldwide, they have 6,000 stores worldwide, connected systems worldwide, he said their service cost has gone down by around 70 to 75 percent. So that means every time a technician visits a site, you need to pay, somebody has to pay. But in our case, almost 75 to 80 percent of such cost is simply avoided and it is more proactive and cost efficient. So this is, this is one area that we really insist that we will give from an end-to-end -end total solution. Now, integrated football data collection is another very, very unique feature that we have. Well, every technology has its limitation. Every Whatever uh, tools that you use, it can be argued that it is no good, it is bad, or whatever it is. However, here we have a system where the sensors are integrated to the EIS pedestals itself. So you will get on real time who is coming in and who is going out, and the total number of visitors at, on real time. Now, another thing is, today we are all at least talking about RFID. Not many people really know what exactly they want to do with RFID. People believe that with RFID they can have magics and tomorrow something will happen. We have done an RFID project recently in Dubai. And uh, what I can tell you, the store had approximately 50, less than 50% store accuracy, the front office, the front store accuracy. And once we implemented this, this solution, the first day after the stock adjustment, we found an accuracy level of 99.97%. And they immediately calculated, the finance guys, they immediately, immediately they calculated and they found that the sales will go up by 12% and also the profitability also has gotten up proportionately without bringing in additional cost. However, when you talk about RFID upgrade, we have systems. Today you want just only an EA system. It is upgradable, is scalable to RFID and EAS hybrid systems. And uh, the client that we have has got around 1,000 plus stores across the Middle East. And last uh, four years ago they made, no not four years, around six years ago they ma made a decision that migrate completely to RF. And it was a massive project and exercise that all over the Middle East including Egypt, Jordan, and any country that you can think of. They had these stores, and we had to replace their existing technology and the systems, and roll out uh, around 1,000 plus stores out of systems. But they made a decision that day, that they wanted to have the system with RFID scalability any day they go for it. And because of that, today when they are working on the RFID migration, their hardware cost is one-fourth of the normal cost. Oh, this, my time is gone. Okay, what is, then one more thing. Here we go, pedestals, no more pedestals at the entrance. It is simply open, welcoming, a store. Everything open. That's again uh, another technology we're bringing in. Another particular tag, we call it concept tag. You can see it in H19, and I can give you an ax or a hammer or a player, try to take it out, and if you take it out, I'll give you 10,000 rupees. All right, then we do source tagging. Source tagging, we are very strong at that point in case you 
like to get some more information, please contact us. This is again another quotation from a friend of mine who is in the retail in North America. He said, next generation loss prevention is all about the integration of yesterday's standalone systems with today's transaction monitoring information systems. Integration needs to exist at all levels, hardware with hardware, hardware with software, software with software. The critical component needs to be threaded together. that the combination is data management. And that's it. And then finally, this is something else we do, store-wise. Real store data, your heat map of the store, the complete view of the store, and uh, the congregation. Now look at, you can see your door counts, your POI sales, your staff schedule, and then your loyalty, your passerby, your bounce rate, your first versus repeat, and your zone report. Then you have your shopper's insight overview, you have power hours, you have executive dashboard. I'm sure that you would be interested in this one. You have DSM, RSM dashboards, you have, you have uh, pro store success, and uh, open display solutions, and a lot more. Did I maintain the time? Thank you very much. In case if you have any questions, please join us in H19. If you have a technical question, you can ask. We'll try to answer it. If you have no answer, we'll see we'll come back with an answer. Thank you very much. Thank you.